What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we are going to explore Gilbert, one of the finest cities in all of the country and certainly, my opinion is, the best in Phoenix. So this area we're at right now is known as Val Vista Gates right here in Gilbert. It was built in 1985 and has over 40 different subdivisions that wind through these lakes right here. Val Vista Lakes is one of several different neighborhoods you'll want to take a look at if you're considering moving here to Gilbert. But before we get on to more neighborhoods, let's talk about some important things to know. The population of Gilbert, 273,000 people. Elevation is 1,237 feet. And also, Gilbert was once known as the hay shipping capital of the world. It was originally incorporated July 6, 1920. Technically, Gilbert is actually a town, not a city, even though the population is in excess of 250,000. It's also one of the fastest growing suburbs in the country and in the Phoenix area. In the year 1980, Gilbert had a population of 5,500 people and now it's over 250,000 here in 2023. So you can see just how fast it's really growing. In fact, in 1990, People who lived in Phoenix used to consider Gilbert the edge of nowhere. You can see the train still goes right through Gilbert on its way through Phoenix. This is not an Amtrak train though. In the year 1920, Gilbert used to use this train line here for all of its farming needs. Nowadays, most of the infrastructure and the freeways are very modern, so don't worry about anything being too outdated out here. To the north you have Mesa, to the east you have Queen Creek and Santan Valley, to the west you have Chandler, and nearby is Tempe. If you wanted to go to downtown Phoenix from here by freeway, it would take about 35 to 40 minutes. With the eastward expansion into Mesa Eastmark, they also have a large airport that's being built out here in Mesa called Mesa Gateway Airport. It's an old Air Force base called Williams Air Force Base. But nowadays you can actually catch a flight to Canada or around the United States on airlines like Allegiant or WestJet or Swoop. It is currently operational, but the plans to expand the airport are already in the works. Think about this airport in the same way that Burbank and Los Angeles complements LAX. So out here at Mesa Gateway Airport, you can see all the airports they fly to. This is going to be more like a secondary airport with the Legion Airlines, SkyWest. They do fly international to Canada, but here's all the locations. There's all the airlines. And you can pause the video right there to actually get a good look at all of those airports in case you were really interested. They also have a website that can give you more information. Even though the airport is located in Mesa, it's right there on the border with Gilbert, so I wanted to bring this to your attention. We're also going to be making a full Mesa tour, which is actually the largest suburb in America, so stay tuned for that. We'll probably post the link right below in the comments section. Next up, we'll take the time to show you around some of the new buildings and projects that are going on around here, like Epicenter. Here we are at the epicenter. They've got an apartment complex here called the Tyler where you can lease, but they've also got some restaurants like the Beer Garden. And we'll show you around this area. It's under construction, it's about to open. Gilbert isn't really known as a pedestrian friendly town, although it is trying to change that image. And it all starts with projects just like this where you get eat, sleep, work, play, all of that stuff right here. Most people who visit Phoenix or live in Phoenix realize very quickly that you almost certainly need a car to live here. Riding public transportation or walking to and from work is simply not going to happen. And if it does, it's not going to be easy on you because taking the buses around a city like this with so much urban sprawl is difficult. They would have to start building areas like this where they really concentrate the activities and the work environment as well as the living quarters all into one. Here at Epicenter, you can see this is how you're living right above the bars. You can see the undertow right there and they have an electric vehicle charging station. Now we're going to go across the street here to Joe's Farm. So we're just kind of exploring around this area of Gilbert. Joe's Farm is a restaurant right next door to here is a cafe. And the reason they call it Joe's Farm is because in the back, they actually have an urban farm right here in the town of Gilbert.
One thing I really like about this area of Joe's farm is barn one. And it's basically a big barn with shops and restaurants and even a bar inside here. I would like to see it longer and more wide with more shops. I think it's a great way to go indoors and escape the heat, especially in the summertime. Maybe even turning an airline hangar into one of these kind of barn one experiences somewhere else around Gilbert. Or barn one should build barn two. <laughs> and for those of you with dogs, this Cosmos dog park right here is 17 acres of fun for you and your dog. Check this place out, they got lakes. Gilbert is considered a family friendly place, but if you don't have a family and you've just got a pet, places like this make Gilbert all the better. This was actually recorded in late January and the temperature outside on this day was 58 degrees, but there wasn't a cloud in the sky, so it was an interesting, brisk, chilly, sunny day. Right here they got a barbecue, a gazebo with plenty of seating, right next to the lake, right here in the center of Gilbert. And as we continue to show you guys around Gilbert and all the benefits of living out here, I'd like to remind you that we've made several other city tours from around the state of Arizona and the city. I'll try to put a link below in the description so you guys can click on that. Now we'll head south just a little bit to Santan Village. This is one of the more popular areas for people to go shopping in the daytime or out for drinks and dinner in the evening time. Gilbert is still growing fast, so do expect a lot of construction projects going on, but once they're complete, it's already done and they're on to the next one. This one here is known as Verde Cooley Station. About to be completed in quarter one of 2023. That means any day now. Yeah, so here I am getting gas right now in Gilbert. $3.51 for unleaded. Right now I'm getting premium octane. $4.19, you can see right here for premium. That's expensive. Unleaded gas was about $3.50, but still I would say that gas prices around Phoenix Metro are expensive and hit harder here because we're always driving cars. If it was a city where you could take the Metro or a high-speed rail or some sort of public transportation efficiently, this wouldn't hit so hard. But in a city like Phoenix where it's urban sprawl, it really does hurt. And by the way, for people who are just moving here, you might have noticed that I refer to all of this area as Phoenix. And what I'm referring to is Phoenix Metro. Many people from here simply call it Phoenix Metro because if I'm in New York City and they say, where are you from? And I say Gilbert, they're not gonna know. But if I say Phoenix, they already know. So when you get out here, you live in Phoenix to everyone outside of Phoenix. But when you're in Phoenix and they ask you where you're from, then you would say places like Mesa, Cave Creek, Gilbert, Peoria, etc. And right now what we're doing is we're cruising down downtown Gilbert, also known as DTG. This is where the water tower is located. At nighttime, this is where you want to be. Dutch Bros, one of the best coffees here in Phoenix. I know it's kind of hipsterish of me, but it is pretty good. I've got the app here, so now I've got to find my Dutch Pass. I've got $11 on there. So I'm doing keto friendly, low sugar, Golden Eagle. I'm trying to stay away from those sugars. Okay. Hey, have a good day. Okay. And if Dutch Bros isn't your thing for coffee, you can always just head down to downtown Gilbert and pick one of the many different cafes they have right along here. They also have some breweries and places to get wine. Oh, and if you're looking for some Arizona themed clothing, you can check out State 48. They have a store down here. 
And if you're thinking about moving out here and you want to know the prices, the average median home price for Gilbert is around $525,000. Obviously, it can go up higher than that, and maybe you can get a deal even lower than that. The average rent out here for a low end is going to be around $1,200, and those are few and far between but the average rent overall is probably more likely around $1,900 a month as of right now in 2023. It can go much higher, but good luck trying to find anything lower than that, really. People have been asking about the water situation down here in Gilbert or Phoenix Metro in general. The canals do not look empty and I've yet to see a day where the canal was below average. So far as I can tell, the water levels are fine down here in the city along the Salt River project. And same can be said about the Central Arizona project, which gets its water from the Colorado River. Now, depending on the sources that you're pulling information from, they will tell you that Lake Mead is extremely low, and that is true. But down here in Phoenix, if you talk to the local government, they will tell you that Phoenix actually has 100 years worth of water in reserves, which I don't really see how they can measure that or get that number because water can evaporate really quickly. But that's comforting to hear that. I don't know if it's necessarily accurate. Changing gears here, we are actually at a recreation center where they have indoor basketball, a gym, they have racquetball, they also have a track where you can walk, run, or do whatever you need to do, jog, I guess. Also an indoor rock climbing gym. Just an overall really nice recreation center called Freestone Recreation Center. You can see out here in Gilbert, it's really easy to have an active lifestyle if you're seeking it. Also, with that being said, let's go check out the Riparian, which is another great place to do outdoor recreation right here in the town. So here we are at the Riparian here in Gilbert. I also want to tell you, if you check the links below, there'll be city tours from Mesa, Scottsdale, and Tempe, and some others. So check the link below and in the comments, but let's keep going. The Riparian has a total of seven ponds and trails that you can walk around. There's also the Water Ranch Lake. This area was just basically repaired to bring back the natural ecosystem to this area here and it's been turned into a preserve, which is a really great idea. So thank you to the town of Gilbert for coming up with that idea. Hi. <laughs> If you're anything like me, you're wondering where the heck do all these ducks come from, especially how did they get here in Gilbert? Well, I assume that ducks go south for the winter, like the other snowbirds that come here from Canada. <laughs> but hey, you know, we do have a lot of ducks here at the Riparian, and there's a lot of different species also. And here we are in Morrison Ranch. This is actually one of the best neighborhoods out here in Gilbert. It's actually got a lot of trees. So Gilbert is actually a great place to raise a family. One of the things that I like about it is it's sports friendly. We're gonna go over to Cactus Yards and check out this baseball field complex. There's many different baseball fields that are just like pro stadiums and baseball fields around MLB. All right, we're here at Cactus Yards. Let's go inside. And the mini pro stadiums that they have here, they have the D-backs field, Wrigley Field, which is from Chicago, Yankee Stadium, Angel Stadium, Fenway Park, 
Polo Grounds, Sportsman Park, and Ebbets Field. When I was a little leaguer, I would have loved to play here. In fact, this is like playing the Little League World Series every night, in my opinion. So after careful consideration going around all the towns around Phoenix Metro, I came to the conclusion that this is probably the best place overall. That includes cost of living, because Scottsdale might be the best, or North Scottsdale in particular, but it's so expensive, probably double the price you would get here in Gilbert, but also with all things considered for the families, for the entertainment, for all those things, the modern lifestyle, I rank Gilbert up there at the top. And now you can click on one of these videos to watch our 10 best small towns in Arizona, as well as the other seven places to consider living in Phoenix Metro. Click one of those now.